in this topic of financial statement analysis okay financial statements can you tell me what do you mean by financial statements uh, like the process of critical evaluation of the financial I'm information talking about what is financial statements what are financial statements oh. ma'am like uh... So when you talk about financial statements, you have two financial statements. One is your statement of profit or loss. So you could say it is your income statement. Okay. okay? The second okay. financial yes, statement that we are talking about is your statement of financial position. Or you could say it is your balance sheet. Hmm. Okay? Balance sheet. Yes. Okay. So when you're analyzing your financial statements, that means you're trying to see your financial information and trying to see whether you are making more profits compared to the last year or whether you're making mm. less profits compared to the last year. How is your yes, financial sir. position? How is your business operations going on so that you can make some important decisions? Are you with me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So analyzing means you are trying to see your financial statements, check your performance compared to the last year or to other industries and take some important decisions. Are you with me? Yes, ma'am. So there are types of financial statement analysis. First is external analysis. When you analyze your financial statement with outsiders financial statements of the same industry. Okay? Yes, sir. Still. Second is internal analysis. When you're comparing your financial statements internally with your last year or current year. These are other types of analysis. Horizontal, vertical, long term, short term. These are other types of analysis. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Why do you do financial statement analysis? Who is interested in this financial statement analysis? All the stakeholders would be interested in the financial statement analysis. Who will be interested in the financial statement analysis? Stakeholders. stakeholders. That is your investors, tax authority, Finance manager, your customers, your laborers, your trade receivables, your debtors, your um, creditors, they all would be interested to know your performance. Okay. Now you have two financial yes, statements. Ma what are the two financial statements? Can you tell me? Internal and external. Financial statements is the income statement and the statement oh, yeah. financial position. Income okay. statement is your profit or loss, okay. and your statement of financial position is the balance, the balance sheet. sheet. Okay, yes. we are going to do comparative statement analysis. Are you with me? There are some techniques uh, to analyze your financial statements. The first is technique to analyze your financial statement is comparative financial statement. Financial statements. Second is Common size common statement. Size statement. Third is ratio and fourth is cash flow. Yeah. Yeah, cash okay. Flow. So we are cash starting flow. with the first technique. It is the comparative financial statements. You compare your items of the income statement. Income statement is what? Profit and loss. And you compare your position statement. Position statement is what? Your balance sheet. To see the trend, to see your trend of performance and profit. Are you with me? Yes, ma'am. You use this to know your operational efficiency and positional efficiency. Yes, okay. So what do you do? This is the format of your comparative mm -hmm. income statement. Okay. This format income statement. <clears throat> now this is important. You have your previous year. Current year. Yeah. That means you will write the amount of your previous year. Previous year. The amount of your current, current year. Then you will yeah. write the change that happens, which is called the absolute change, or you say increase and decrease. 
Yes. Can you write your percentage change, increase or decrease? Are you with me? Yes, sir. So four columns and one column for the particulars. Particulars, previous year, current year, absolute year. change in rupees. Absolute change in percentage, percentage change. change in rupees. Are you with me again? Rupees. Yes, sir. How many columns in total? Five. Five. Particulars. Yeah, particulars, yes. previous year, current year, absolute change and percentage change. In Very good. Okay. Now you should know that you have total six Roman numbers over here. Okay. So many Roman number six. Six. First Roman number would be revenue from operations. This will be yeah. given directly to you. Roman okay. number one, revenue from operations. From operations. Second, other income. Third would be your total, total revenue. revenue. You will add both of this and okay, you add the two. two lines across. Okay. You will make two lines across. Yes, sir. Revenue from operation, yes. other income. Yes. Other total income. Revenue, total, total revenue. Total revenue. One plus two, and you will make two one plus two. In the two added. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Roman number four. Three is for income. Three okay? is for income. Yeah. Fourth common number is for expenses. And you will write all your expenses, whatever is given to you. These okay. are the most common expenses that they usually give you. Okay. Cost yeah. of material consumed. Purchases. Purchase of stock in trade. Change in your stock. Fresh goods. Employee benefit. Yes. Expense. It's finance cost. Finance cost. Depreciation on amortization, amortization and there will be other, other expenses. Ex and you will write your total expenses. You will add the total expenses. Add and the total. Okay. So this would be yes, your total income. Total income. That is from operations and other income. Okay. Yes. This would be your total expenses. Yeah. Okay. This would be Roman number three, and this is Roman number four. Yes. So from the income, when you're going to subtract your expenses, that means Roman number three minus Roman number four, you will get something which is called the profit before tax. Yes, sir. Okay. Profit before tax. You have to subtract. Yeah. From this subtract part, the total revenue, you subtract expenses. this part. You will get something which is called the profit before tax. Yes. That's Roman number five. Roman number five. From that, when you subtract income tax, you will get profit after profit tax. Profit after tax. Okay. Can you please repeat it for me? Yes, ma'am. So first, there are uh, uh, this thing: revenue from operations and other income. Hmm. Roman number one and two. So total revenue, Roman number three, it will be a revenue from operations and other income added. So okay. we'll get total revenue. Okay. So then Roman number four, which is all the expenses, we will write them down and then we'll get, add all of them and get total expenses. The expenses the un, these are the unusual yeah. expenses. Okay. Cost of materials consumed, purchase of stock in trade, changes in inventory of finished goods, uh, employee benefit expenses, finance costs, Depreciation and amortization and other expenses. Okay. And then uh, we will add all of these expenses to get total expenses. Okay. Then uh, profit before tax, which will be total revenue and uh, total expenses subtracted. Okay. And then uh, we'll also subtract income tax, which will be given. Okay. And we'll get profit after tax. Okay, very good. So this is your comparative income statement. Now we will do the sums related to comparative. Before I go to the format of, before I go to the sums of the comparative income statement, we will also discuss the balance sheet format. Okay, you should know the balance sheet format also by heart. Are you with me? Okay. Yes, sir. So your balance sheet yes. basically has two sections. When I am saying it has two sections, so your section number one, okay, balance sheet. Yes, ma'am. I would prefer if you write it with me. So this is your balance sheet. It has two sections, your Roman number one, okay, and your Roman number two. These are your main yes, headings. 
Roman number one okay. would be your equity and liabilities. Equity and liability. Roman number one. Equity and liabilities and Roman number two would be your assets. Assets. Assets are something that is very easy. Assets is divided into two parts. The first part is your non-current assets. And the second yeah, part. Non-current assets. This is number one, non-current yeah. assets. And this is number two, current assets. Yeah. Okay. Current assets. Are you with me? Yes. When I'm talking about equity and liabilities, it will be divided into three parts. Three parts, that means when I say this is non-current assets and current assets, so equity and liabilities will have three parts. The second part would be non-current liabilities. And yeah, third part liabilities. would be current yeah. liabilities. Current liabilities. Are you with me? Yes, ma'am. And the first part would be your shareholders fund. Okay, shareholders fund. Shareholders funds is nothing but your equity. Okay. Liabilities. So you have two liabilities. One is your non-current liability and one is your current liability. Are current you liability, yeah. Yes. Okay. Assets would be divided into two parts. That is one and two. First would be your non-current assets. Second would be your current asset. Current asset. Okay, fine. Now before I go ahead, I will first discuss about the non-current liabilities and current liabilities. Can you tell me the yes, difference sir. between a non-current liability and current liability? Um, non-current liability and current liability. Uh, so non-current liability will be for long term. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, long term. And current long -term. liability will be for short term. Short term. What is liabilities? Liability is something. That you owe someone, right? That you owe someone. Very good. So someone whom you have to pay after a year, more than a year, yes, would yes. be a non-current liability. Non-current liability. And someone whom you have to pay within a year would be a current liability. Current liability. Okay. If you have to pay someone after a year would be a non-current liability. Non-current liability. After a year would be a current liability. Current liability. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So when I am talking about non-current liability, that means it is long term. Okay, long term, yeah. Okay, so when I am talking about non-current liability, it means it is long term. So it would be long term. Can you do you have any idea what would it be? Long term, non current liability. Long term borrowings. Long term borrowings. And long term provisions. Long term provisions. So it would be long term borrowings and long term provisions like provisions for uh, depreciation or provisions for workmen compensation. It would be like. Sure. So this is main okay. number two. So in this number one, Long term borrowings and long term provisions. Are you long with me? term provisions? Yes. Are you sir. with me? When I come to current yeah. liabilities, current liability will also have borrowings and provisions, but this would be short term. Put over here, short term. So one I will put one would be short term borrowings. Short term borrowings and short term. Short term provision. So this why I'm putting the four provisions always come at the end. Okay. So short term okay. provision. So do you know any other current liabilities? Mm. No. Current liability, someone you have to pay within six months. Yeah. Even. I will put over here. I mean, if you don't know, trade payables is your current liability. Yes, trade sir. payables, that means your suppliers from whom you buy goods and credit. And number three, yes. would be other current liabilities. Okay, other current liabilities. You have to learn this. The format will go like this only, okay? Yes, sir. So, when I am talking about equity and liabilities, equity and liabilities, 
it has three sections first is equity equity means equity. the shareholders funds yes, then sir. the non current liability and then the current liability with yes, me non current yes, liability would be long term borrowing long term provisions long term borrowing long term provisions yeah and I talk about current liability, it will have short term borrowing short -term and short term borrowings and provisions. And in between would be trade payables and trade other payables and other current liabilities. Now see, this is number two, but inside when I'm writing, I'm writing small one, small two. Okay. This is yes, number sir. three, but one, two, three, and four. I'm writing. Are you with me? Yes. Yes. Now sir. we'll discuss the shareholders' funds. Can you tell me what is the money that belongs to your shareholders? The money that is like uh, that belongs to share. What is the money? What? The first thing that will belong to the shareholders is the capital. Okay, yeah, capital. The second thing that will belong to the shareholders is the money that is kept behind in the business. That is the reserve yeah. surplus. Reserve surplus. Okay, so the first thing that will belong to the shareholders is the share capital. So number one, share I am right. capital. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Second thing that belongs to the shareholders is the reserves and surplus. Yes. Okay. Are you with me? Yes. Now, sir. can you tell me how many types of shares do they have? One like is the equity shares. Equity shares. So it would be the equity share capital. Yes. Other is the preference shares. So see, I'm putting one oh, yeah. share capital. But I in that when there is a bifurcation, I'm writing A and B. Yes. A and B. That would be the equity share capital. The other yeah, would be equity what? share capital, preference share capital. Reference share capital. So with this, we cover what? Our balance sheet, equity, and liability section. Are you with okay. me? Yes, ma'am. So you have Roman number one. What is your Roman number one? Your Roman number one is your equity and liability. Equity and liabilities. Roman number two is your assets. Assets. Okay. Equity and liabilities yes. is split up into three sections. What are the three sections? One, two, three. One. Yeah, shareholder fund, non-current liability, and current liability. Okay. Non-current liability and current liabilities, this is long-term borrowing, long-term provisions. Yes, ma'am. And current liability would be short-term borrowing, short-term provisions. Short-term provisions. D at the end. Yes. Okay, and you have trade payables and other current liabilities in between. Yes, sir. With me? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, now shareholder funds. Shareholder funds means what? Shareholder funds means the capital that the shareholders have. Shareholders funds, reserves and surplus. Reserves okay. and surplus, yeah. Share capital, reserves and surplus. I mean, surplus, share yeah. capital two means reserves and surplus. Share capital would be the equity share capital and preference share capital. Preference share capital. And yeah. reserves and surplus is the money that they keep behind. Yes. Are you with me? So if I just yes, elaborate the equity and liability section, it will look something like this. Oh. Check out. Yes. Okay. It will look something like this. Equity and liabilities, number one, yeah. shareholders funds. Can you say? Yeah, non-current liabilities and current liabilities. What comes in shareholders funds? Share capital reserves and surplus. Okay. In share okay. capital, there's equity yeah. share and pressure share capital. Okay. Non-current liabilities yeah. and current liabilities. Long term borrowings and long term provisions, and uh, current also liabilities. current liabilities, short term borrowing and short term provisions, and trade payable and other current liabilities. Okay, fine. Now we go to the asset section. When I am talking about the asset section, okay, 
assets would be non current assets and current assets are you with yes, me ma your current yes, assets are the six things that i have made you memorize before also okay do you remember them what is the difference between a non current asset and current asset non current asset and current asset mom same thing as non current liability current liability sir yeah so what is the difference so mom like with non current asset is a longer time the asset is shorter time very good Okay, okay. Sure. Are you with me? Current yes, assets the six things you should remember. It is the current investments, inventories, yes, trade sir. receivable. It should be in this order only. Okay, investment, inventory, trade okay. receivable, cash and yes. cash equivalent, cash and cash equivalent, and Z one C and other current assets. Yes. Are yes, you sir. with me? Yes, now over here. Now look over here. Current assets. These oh, five things are. to memorize. Yes. Are you with me? Okay. Yes, sir. But for non-current assets, this is one, two, and three. Okay. Three. Yeah, you have current investments. Yes, you start with current investments. Yes. So here current the number two would be non-current investments. Non-current investments. Are you with me? Yes. Okay, in non-current assets, you don't have other non-current assets because these are long-term assets, so you don't have anything that could be random. Okay, so yes, this sir. item will not be there. So the first item and this item, like this, is short-term loans and advances. That means you've given yes. someone loan and advances. So here it would be long-term loans and advances. Yes, sir. Are you with me? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so, long term loans and advances. Your non current assets would start with these two things. What are these two things? Non current investment, long term loans, and non current advances. investments and long long term loans and advances. Now, when I talk yes. about the first part, you have fixed assets. This you should okay. always know. We've been learning things long, so you will have yeah. fixed assets. A would be your tangible assets. Tangible and intangible assets. A would be your tangible assets. That means tangible the assets. Feel, touch and feel, okay. And intangible assets that you cannot see, touch and feel. So yes. the assets section is very easy. You have your non-current assets, current assets, non-current no. assets. Would current be assets. Fixed assets. Non-current investments yes. and long-term loans and provisions. Long-term loans, provisions. Loans and yeah. advances. Sorry, current assets would be what? Loans and advances. Current, current assets would be current investments, inventory, trade receivables, cash and cash equivalent, short-term loans and advances, and uh, other current assets. Okay, so this is how your balance sheet would look like. How your balance sheet would look yes. like? Roman number one, equity and liabilities. Roman number two, assets. Assets, the equity and liability, yeah. shareholders funds, non-current liability, current liability. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, correct. Assets would be non-current assets, current assets. Non-current assets and current assets. These two are very. Equity and liability. Long-term yeah. borrowing, long-term provision, short-term borrowing, short-term provision. Short-term provisions. Okay, in between would be trade payables, other current liability. And the current liabilities and shareholders funds is made up of two parts. What are the two parts? Uh, share capital and reserves and surplus. Okay, share capital and reserves and surplus. Share capital would have equity, equity share, share capital, capital and preference share capital. Very good. And then you have your total. This would be your total equity and liabilities. You will have your yes. total assets and non current assets, non current assets, and current assets. Current you assets. Total all together, and you would have this. So be yes, it sir. comparative statement or be it your common size statement, the format remains the same. So yes, this sir. is your format of your balance sheet. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So when you're doing your comparative statement, you will have four columns. What are the four columns? 
um, particular previous year, current year, previous year, current year, absolute change, year, in, absolute change absolute in rupee change. and in percentage. Yeah, in proportion change. Yeah. Okay. Now suppose if you're making your income statement, okay, you have revenue from operations. Yes, and you have revenue from operations. This would be your previous year. This would be your current year. Are you with me? Current year. Yes, sir. Now, when you go to the absolute change, okay? Absolute change, yeah. See the change. From the previous year yeah. to the current year, okay? Is there an increase or decrease? Uh, there's a increase, yeah. There is of an increase lakh. of 2 lakh. This is the absolute. Yeah, absolute change. Okay. Now, how do you find the percentage change? Percentage change would be the change upon the original amount. Yes, ma'am. Into 100. Into 100. What is the change? This 2 lakh. 2 lakh. Divided what was by... the original amount? What, what can we say? The previous year. 8 lakh. Okay, 8 the lakh. previous years. Original amount is 8 lakh. Into what? 8 lakh, yeah. 100. Into 100. So these five zeros, five zeros cancel by themselves? Yes, sir. Okay. Cancel. Two and divided then by, divide eight. by 8. Two ones are? Two uh, fours four. Four, sir. Two twos are? Two, two fives are ten and zero. Two ones yeah, and then two ones are twenty five. Twenty fives are so the change is twenty five. Yeah. Yes, sir. Are you with me? So yes, sir. Change upon original into hundred. This is how you will yeah. get the percentage change. Percentage change. This I have completed the formula. I have completed the format of the income statement. Balance sheet yeah. format, you need to memorize the format and then you need mm. to just apply. So the application we will do in the next class. Okay. okay.